are if they want a little bit more engaged and they're gonna stick with comfort remember that during the regular season when broken blade got his hands on this champion yep. he demolished g2 esports with it and there's the, of course he did play cinder at bot lane i believe and got uh, spotted again Oh, they engage, the double flash, double knock up. The stun lands Oof. and first blood to Reckless, but here comes the TP. Broken Blade gonna join the fray. Infernal Chain splashed away there by Reckless. Does have the stage presence, looking for that W. Doesn't oh. quite have the heal in time for Yankos. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, there's another trade. He's farming at about uh, nine a minute or so. Mickey forced down towards the bottom side of this. Yankos coming in, Thundering Smash available. They know Gilius has no flash. Limit gonna jump in here, but Camps is there in time. Yankos gets the smite down, and that's the scuttlecraft for him. Camps trading here as Abadagi tries to join the fight, but he's got no mana. He's got no way of getting into this fight, really, as Limit has cancelled by Caps the first time when he TP'd back, and then Yankos came and cancelled it a second time. He lost around a wave and a half, two waves to that. And it's just been. See, Reckless coming up. Yankos gonna step forward now. As the Stormbringer can look to dive underneath this tower. Thundering Smash gets the stun. There's a Sky Split, a Stormbringer combo. He's not back, but Abadag is done. The Culling finds his mark, and now Caps is the target. Broken Blade going in with the World Ender, and Caps really has nowhere to go. Infernal Chains, he dashes away from it, but is that gonna be enough? Still has the Blast going. Meanwhile, in your picture in picture, you can see the supports in a battle to the death as we see Caps fall off towards the Core. top. Reckless in position behind Yankos. Oh, Broken Blade's here. looking to line it up. The Encore just short of limit as he flashes away. Caps is off towards the top side of the fight, and it's a 5v4. Here if comes one of Schalke right now. Wonder going in. Yankos there as well. You can see Wonder coming in with the unstoppable onslaught, and there's already one kill. Limit's down. And now the numbers switch in favor of G2. Oh, Mickey, Mickey with a great flank position as they look for more damage here. Mickey healed up with the Moonstone. Able to be kept oh. alive. The Super Mega Death Rocket goes wide, but Abadage will get the kill in the end. Wonder looking for Gilius underneath the tower. Can't quite get him. In the end, a two for one trade in favor of G2. Yeah, but G2 end up walking away with the Drake, and they should be able to get the mid turret off the back of it as well. So they will crush your marks around with the able to get these early game leads. They're constantly going for skirmishes. The game goes. And Schalke looks like they're just playing to catch waves right now. They were looking for a pick. It looks like they're on the Falling defense. prey to the aggression of G2, finding those good late game fights. Oh! oh! No! And making plays like that. Oh! Clutch steal. They did not have vision, oh! I think. Oh, they did. They, the they, the they, they did. They did. The scribes bloom, and then he fires the rocket. Boom. Steals away the dragon. Yankos smites. Uh, yeah, a bit questionable. Yep. But well, the Super Mega Death Rocket does a ton of damage to Limit. objectives as Limit is caught out, uses the knockup to try and get away. Sky Splitter goes wild, but there is the explosive cast. Next on the menu is Gilead. Should be able to walk his way away. The Encore just a little bit wide as G2 perhaps playing off the wrong him sheet right there, but with the Rift Tower charging in, G2 are looking to up the tempo of this matchup. But this was the bot lane tower that you talked about earlier, Kajal. They're looking for another pick. Be dropped. Dead, I think. Stage presence ignite. Gilius is oh, taking, but the turtle stance saves him. Oh, me However, Abadage is next on the menu. It's Against the items that Schalke have, Wunder fighting against Limit here, Limit no flash. Limit's gonna jump away, but the unstoppable onslaught. Where's Neon? He has no flash, he has no cleanse, he has no way of getting away. Wunder gets no the flash. So it's so hard for him to even be on the same screen as anyone of G2. Caps takes him out, but look at the Yankos on the Yankos side. He can disable the tower. On course, straight in as well, but there's the TP immediately from Broken Blade. Limit going in with a Magna Storm, and they're looking for the damage. You can see and the rocket! In. Here comes Aatrox G2, you've been in this spot before! And the Aatrox and, lands, and the Emperor finds him! Victims! A double for Neon, a double for Broken Blade, and Wonder is Thunder! And the it's Shalka with the ace! At the flick of a switch, Limit pulls the trigger. Gets... Nail in the coffin for G2, you would say, because now Shalka with this late game team comp yeah. is even against G2. They have the Baron, and there's so much gold for them to collect on the map. There's still a mid tier one, there's still a bot tier one, but we're gonna keep our eyes on what they do now, because the dragon's up, up, and Shalka wanna contest it. Broken Blade popped the ult, he's going in, he has the flash. This could have been the sole possibility for. For G2, but of course, we saw the Super Mega Death Rocket snipe away eyes the last dragon, and now you got to keep your eyes on Caps, you've got to keep your eyes on the Lucian, he's stepping forward, broken play with a two-level advantage, Caps only level 13, Dragon down to 3,000, Scuttle Crab now secured for Schalke, Gilius on that front line, Wonder with no ultimate, broken play going in with the Infernal Chains, there's Mickey, oh! there's the Culling, there's the Encore, they catch Gilius, the Limit dies onto the back line, and Caps is immediately exhausted, Limit just about Neon's down, getting and resets. Come the rest of Schalke, Neon getting excited, as I'm sure all the Royal Blue fans out there are as well. Backing away. 
it looks like G2 have given that up. They're not going to go for the Drake Steel. It feels like there's just such a huge damage difference between the two teams. Schalke's composition is so straightforward. You play front to back, you keep the long range carries. And if Mickey goes in and Neon gets a reset, then he's running forwards with the three items with the Hurricane. He's going to shred all of G2, G2. Yeah. which means that the loser of tomorrow's match will go against Fnatic as the engage comes from G2. Neon flashes away. Here comes Limit with the Magnus Storm. Storm being used by Yankus to try and get away. The Encore lands onto Neon as well, but the rest of G2 cannot follow up. Caps isn't even here yet. Broker Blade stepping in. Yankos pulled back. Mickey goes in with the body slam, but can't quite land it. And Schalke... And all he has to do is dish out the damage. Yeah, Mickey just got his flash up. Yankos doesn't have the ult yet. Wonder will have it up soon. So, Neon... Drake, Neon's gonna get it, I think. Yeah, Neon, Neon can just solo this out. Three dragons apiece. Yankos going in with a thundering smash. Gideas looking for the engage option. It's Mickey. Gideas. Flashes in. The zap connects as well. Mickey has to flash away. Decimating smash. Not going to do too much, but there's the culling. Knocks Neon. Gideas knocked away with the explosive cast as well. And you can see the dive in. But the encore lands on the limit and he's already dead. Decimating smash. Flash away by Broken Blade. Now G2 oh, reset up right for a second. Neon doing as much work as he can. Abadagi still alive up towards the bottom side. Neon down to about a third HP. Yankos trying to dive in. Mickey not quite able to connect on Abadagi and Neon is still alive. So is Broken Blade. So is Gileas. And so the hope perhaps was Schalke for doing it. Game. Abadagi getting chased off towards the bottom side. Neon really can't join the fight. Mickey down. Now goes Caps in. Broken Blade down as well. G2 pushing three members strong in the mid lane. Caps trying to get chased onto Abadagi here, but he can't get the damage down. Abadagi's trying to turn it around, but meanwhile, the mid lane inhibitor tower is falling. G2 will take the turret. They'll back away immediately. And now Abadagi has to run for the hills by himself. Are there any TPs available for G2? Wonder has one. Abadagi is going to back. Wonder does not TP to the fight. Caps going to dash over the wall. He spots him. Abadagi now in the wrong position at the wrong time. The rest of G2 he's are being out. I think he's out. And he's going to TP out because one new is team for no your jungler. One again. The front line limit doesn't have flash either. Goes in with the magnet storm. They look for Wonder. Explosive cast going to knock two of them back. And look at Wonder. He's just healed up once again. And limit's already dead. Reckless takes the kill. The encore has already been used. G2 might turn back towards the Baron. Abadage putting some damage down onto Mickey still. Composition. Jinx, Jinx rocket still. Stolen it before. Wonder's trying to stand Here in the way. Comes. Wonder blocks it. That would have been close if it had been able to get in there. Now Wonder feels like. Well, Shao could decide they don't want it. Cloud yeah. soul secured now for G2. I feel like perhaps this, uh, Caps can dash out. He has a stopwatch to flash everything. So G2 sieging onto this top tower. 40 minutes into the game, they have Baron. They have Cloud Soul. Shao can need to mount a defense. Limit has to perfect engage something. Like you can see all of the flank wards are positioned for G2. Oh, Caps, Caps can just stand at the back of it. He Look at his the items. Fight. Double cannon minions pushing in here. They're looking for this inhibitor tower. G2 have held on to the 41 minute mark. Shalko put up a fight, but right now G2 are the ones knocking on the series win. Looking to get into that upper bracket and fight either Rogue or Mad Lions, depending on tomorrow's results. Shalka really can't step forward. That inhibitor tower already Ooh. down to Carling. Oh my lord. Ripping through Broken Blade and now Wonder on the front. The encore goes a little bit wide, but the inhibitor tower has fallen. Shalka reset. You've got one last fight. You've got one last moment, one opportunity to find your shot, to find your mark, because right now G2 are just walking through your base and G2 want to do this one by the numbers. <laughs> one last inhibitor tower, one last inhibitor here for Shalka. One last sally into the breach as Neon oh, gets culled to half his HP. Wonder tanks the tower for a year. The charm comes out and is all on limit, he's already dead before he can even join the fray. No flash burn, no Magnus Storm, <laughs> shut down. I'm sorry, but did you have some DPS, Schalke? Because it looks like you're the ones getting DPS down. G2, you took your darn time about it. But in the end, Caps will pick up the triple. Caps will pick up the quadra and they will take the final inhibitor. It was back and forth for a few moments. Schalke held a reverse sweep in their hands, but G2 shut the damn door in their face. G2 will go through to the upper bracket. Oh. What a series, huh? <laughs> what a thought? series. Schalke taking G2 to the wire.